This training session is going to be on our voided AP check spreadsheet. When you open your spreadsheet, you will be on the settings tab. Um, and this only has three options. It has the fiscal year, but this is really going to be driven by the beginning date and the ending date that you enter here. One thing that's um, nice about this particular spreadsheet, it will cross over fiscal years because it's going to be driven by these two dates. So you can simply go up, click in this cell, go up to the top and change. Say you wanted to see um, from, um, let's say, July the 1st of 2016, and then you wanted to see the data um, through the end of 2018. So we would put um, 0630 and hit Enter. So the dates that are in these two columns are the dates that will be used when pulling data into this spreadsheet. Um, in this case, I'm going to go back and just put the dates back like they were because that's the data you're going to be seeing. So you enter your dates, you hit the Refresh Data button, and you will be taken to your Voided Checks tab. A um, couple things I just wanted to show you on this spreadsheet. You have your voided date and your check number, your check date, then the vendor number, the vendor name, and the description. And then if you have information for the invoice number, the PO number, your site, your batch, and then your amount, well, that will be shown next in the columns going across. Um, one thing I just wanted to show you, say you know the check number that you want to look for. So you can come in and click on the check number. And let's say we want to look at 9765. Enter that in, click the Enter button, and then you can see that check. Um, you can see um, who the vendor was. You can see the different sites. You can see the amounts, whatever you're looking for. So I'm going to take my filters on and off. Next, I wanted to show you how you could come in and, and just pull the voided AP checks for a particular site. And you do that by going to the Site column, click on the filter, and let's say we wanted to see for site 316, hit enter, and there you can see they have had two voided AP checks for the time period that you refresh your data for, and then you can use the information that you need there. Okay, I'm going to take my filters on and off one more time, and I wanted to show you, um, if you knew a vendor and you wanted to see all your voided AP checks for a particular vendor number, and you knew the number, I'm going to do VN... Mm, 28111. Let's see. We have, okay, it's the Holiday Inn downtown, and the description is for the seminar training. You can see here, too, where the check date um, was for July the 12th, which is in your third column, and then you can see the voided date was not until July the 16th. So there's a lot of different ways you can use this voided AP check spreadsheet, and we just wanted to give you a few tips. I'm going to turn my filters on and off so that all the data is showing. Thank you for watching this video on our voided AP check spreadsheet.